In this tutorial, I will show you the use of self keyword uh, and the dollar this variable in object oriented PHP. There are some difference between uh, these two options. Self keyword is mainly used to refer in a uh, static method of the class, and you don't need to create any object uh, to use this keyword. And the syntax of this uh, keyword is self double colon and next you can assign any static member that can be a variable a static variable or a static function here first example uh, shows the use of a static keyword so first i will create the php file and later i will explain it uh, so you uh, store the file in docs folder and uh, here first i will set the file in the SDOX folder. I'm storing here uh, under PHP folder and file name is suppose visitor.php. Okay. Uh, the visitor class here contains a static member dollar counter which is initially one and the class has a constructor uh, that just print the initial value of the uh, dollar counter variable and there is another static method uh, the name of the method is increment underscore counter and the purpose of this method is is to increment the value of dollar counter by one uh, each time the function is called by self each time the, uh, the function is called then it will increment the value of dollar counter by self keyword so uh, and it will uh, return the value of dollar counter to the color and this is the class declaration which contains one static variable and one static function now uh, here the object is created for the visitor class and when the when the object is created we know the constructor automatically calls and uh, it will print this message the initial value of uh, initial value is one and next it called the static member or static method uh, increment underscore counter and uh, after calling this method it will increment the value of uh, dollar counter by one using the self keyword and here you can see the value is incremented by self double colon and when you want to print the value then you can also refer it like this self double colon counter and this is only applicable for static members of the class now i will uh, run this code uh, from the server localhost slash php sorry i didn't start the jam server so first of all i'll do it okay this is the class visitor dot php and you can see the initial value is one and uh, after calling the static function the value is two and this is a very simple use of cell keyword in object oriented php and uh, now I'll, i will go to the next example use the cell keyword and call the static function directly that means uh, in the previous example uh, object is created uh, and static keyword is used inside the class and uh, the method of the class and this example shows uh, you can use self keyword to a static function directly so i will create another php file to check this code the file name as book.php 
Okay, uh, now I will explain the code. The class book contains three static methods uh, and constructor with arguments and a public method add book and a display method that will print the value of all static members. Uh, here, we in the at the time of object creation, the three values are passed to the three arguments of the constructor, id, group name, and the quantity. That is uh, 120 here. Mm. And uh, after uh, creating the object, it calls the add book with 30 value. Uh, add book is a public function. So after inserting this, it here shortened class operators use. That means uh, previous uh, new value will be added with the previous value. Our previous value, our quantity value was 120. So 30 will be added with 120. So new value of stock underscore QQI will be 150. 120 plus 30. And next display method is called. So this one will be display. And uh, in this section shows how you can call any static method directly by using the class name. And this is the class name, double colon, and this is the method name. And if you execute this code from the server, then you will get something like this. The current value is 50. And uh, how the value change or check the previous value, you can uh, modify the code little bit. To do this, I, I, you have to set this line before the reinitialization of new value. So it will first call the display and then the stock quantity will be 120. And after adding the value, the uh, stock quantity will be 150. So if I refresh it, you can see current stock is 120 and new stock is 150 after adding 30 okay now I can go for the example 3 use of this variable this uh, variable is uh, mainly used to refer non static members of the class that means no static variable or static method uh, can be referred by using dollar this variable. So, this example shows the use of dollar this variable. So, I will uh, create a new class uh, with this script. And uh, the file name will be customer dot php. You can keep any name here. It is not mandatory to keep the same name with the class name. So, uh, customer class contain two private method. Uh, first name and last name and a constructor with two arguments that will initialize the first name, last name and a public method that will print the first name, last name by computing with space. Okay. Here, uh, the object of this class is created with uh, two values, Muhammad and Rafiq, that will go for fn for Muhammad and Rafiq will go here, ln. So, uh, after that, uh, full name method is called, which is public. And one thing I have to uh, say it here, dollar this keyword uh, can access any uh, private uh, class variable so uh, is that self cannot do this so if you want to refer any uh, private uh, variable or method of the class then you have to use the dollar this variable so uh, when uh, I will call full name method then it will print the customer name is Muhammad space Rafiq now I will run this code Here you can see the output. Now I will go for the example 4 where self keyword and this variable both are used together. Now 
set the file as employee employee dot patient. The employee class contains a static variable dollar name, a private variable dollar salary, and a constructor with two argument name and salary. So here name is static, so self keyword is used to initialize the dollar name and salary is a private class uh, variable. So dollar this variable is used to refer this variable. And there is a public method details to print this values. And at the time of printing, in the same way, uh, static member is print by using self keyword and private variable is print by using dollar this variable. So at the time of all this creation, two uh, value are passed, name and salary, and detail method is called to print the values. So if I run the employee, then you can see the output. So in this way, you can use a self keyword and dollar this variable uh, according to your requirement. Thank you for watching.